Hey everybody. Oh, it's Sunday night. I've been sick for a week. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm going to attempt those really gorgeous fall eyes that I asked about in my messenger the other day. I don't know if you know, if you saw it. Some of you did because I got a lot of responses on it, but I don't know who saw it and who didn't. So I posted on my Facebook stories this really gorgeous, extremely dramatic. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Ashley. Oh, Ashley, I forgot to put that in your mom's mailbox today. Darn it. I'm going to do it in the morning. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to do it in the morning. Okay, so let her know. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Wendy. So I posted on my Facebook stories a few days ago. Hey, um, this really gorgeous, like, rusty brown, terracotta, red brown, like a super smoky fall eye, and I just, I saw it, and I fell in love with it. I'm trying to get my lighting right. Oh, that's why it looks dark. Um, and I fell in love with it. So when y'all come on, just drop a hey in the comments, let me know. <laughs> I went over there, Ashley, I went over and I, I literally went over and dropped Carrie's dog off today, right next door to your mom's house, and I left your foundation sitting on my desk. So, it's just, I don't know what it is. It's sick brain or something. I can't, I can't eat. I keep biting my lip when I eat. <laughs> I can't, I can't like think clearly. I can't finish sentences most of the time. But I'm going to make this work, and it's going to be awesome. So, I'm really excited. I've been wanting to do this look for a while. Um, I haven't been live much lately just because, well, honestly, I just don't want to gross you guys out <laughs> because I have been like coughing up a lung every freaking 15 minutes, but I think I can make it through. And if I can't, then I know y'all love me enough to stick around. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Kalina. Hey, Jan. Hey, Brittany, Megan, Shelby. What's up, girls? Hello, Wendy and Ashley. I already talked to y'all, didn't I? Hey, Debbie. Carrie, if you're still on here. Hello. Um, I am, if you're wondering, the, I will tag these earrings in the com, in the post actually. Hold on. Let me just do that now. Um, hello gorgeous. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Um, let's see. <sighs> it's not working. I'll do it afterwards. I will link. I don't have the flu. I just have like some really stupid, annoying, crappy cold that's been going around. So I don't have like body aches and everything. I just feel exhausted. Um, and I can't breathe. And I've got like all of the funk up here. And then I also have a really bad cough. I've had a fever a little bit, but it's gone away. Um, actually, I don't know. I probably have, I think I had one this morning, but it was like 99, like a barely even a fever. So, it's just kind of coming and going. Jace has it too. He has slept like 75, 80% of this day. He's asleep again. And he's slept on and off all day long. So, at least he's, you know, resting and getting out of the system. I just ate a handful of trail mix. So, if you see me like trying to clear my mouth out, it's because, it's because of that. Um, But I am going to do my makeup. And then I guess I'm just going to disinfect all of it afterwards because I miss doing this. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. So anyway, the earrings, before anybody asks, the earrings, my friend Carrie, um, who I do unique with, she's one of my very best friends. She also has a cutesy little boutique called The Yellow Rose here on Facebook, and I got these fabulous earrings from her, so if you're looking at them and you're loving them, I will link her link. Um, I'll come back in and I'll, and I'll add it in, because she's got, she's got the bomb stuff, and it's all super affordable. So anyway, she hooked me up with some earrings. Um, I got a couple pair from her, and I absolutely love them, so I will be getting more. I'm going to do my eyes first, um, because this is just a dark, like, super smoky dark eye, and I don't want all of this. It's supposed to be super bright, and this is supposed to be super dark, so um, I'm going to prime my face really fast. Hey, Jessica. Hello, hello. Hey, Anne Margaret. So, um, for those of you who don't know, all the products that I'm using tonight are unique, and you can get them at web, my website. So, if you are curious about any of this, and you want to grab anything that you see for yourself, you can order it from me. Um, I have an online business, and it's amazing. <laughs> so, even though I've felt like teetotal crap for the last week, I still can work, which is good. I just do it feeling like poo, and it's great. <laughs> Hey, hey, Heather. Heather, your profile picture is, uh, I love it. I'm, I'm kind of obsessed. You look like angelic and gorgeous. I just wanted to let you know. 
I saw it the other day, yesterday probably, and I was like, oh my goodness. She looks phenomenally beautiful. Hey, Suzanne. Hey, Kara. All right, so we're going to brush these. I'm going to do my brows first. I just feel like I need to because it makes me feel more put together and more fabulous. Even though I feel like rotten. Rotten. I'm going to do some browage really quick with my brow palette. And then we'll get into the eyes. I'm really excited about this eye look. I love them, Jessica. I love them. I love them. I can hook you up with um, Carrie's business page where she sells them. They are fantastic. Fantastic. She's not overpriced either. And they're all, there are so many different styles. They're really pretty. I love them. I love them very much. I got some like olive green leather teardrop ones the other day. They're like just a, just a teardrop of <clears throat> this kind of like textured olive green leather. And they're, fin they're fantastic. Also, I put them on the other day. I guess I'm just going to buy new ones from her every week or something because I love them. I used to not wear a lot of yellow stuff, but I feel like this kind of golden yellow, I just really like it. It's just really light and, but not like cool. It's like a, a warm yellow. I don't know. It's good with my skin, I think. Hey, Katie Mae. I just saw your picture that you posted in being in the home stretch. Congratulations. She doesn't, Becca. She orders them. She buys them. Um, she goes and hand picks them, but she doesn't hand make them. She's so busy with her unique business that she couldn't really hand make them if she wanted to, that she would just take up all of her time and you know, the earring business is awesome, but the real money is made with the unique business. So she's like, I'm not going to take away from my, like her unique business is what afforded her to be able to like invest in all this stuff, you know? And so she's like, well, I'm not going to take time away from my Y business because that's the real money maker, you know, to make the earrings and the things. But she has a really great supplier and she doesn't upcharge like hardly at all. It's literally just barely a difference, and, um, and she hooks us up with, like, the cutest freaking stuff, and I love it. She's got, like, 15 pairs of earrings that I want. <laughs> I started with two, but I really want, like, 15 of them. They're all so pretty. She has earrings, and, yeah, she has earrings, and necklaces, and, um, these really cute, like, leopard rimmed beanies and a couple of, like, poncho shawl things and these really cool rings. I'm going to get one of the rings next because I I saw them tonight and I was just like, uh, I need that in my life. I need that in my life. So, I will be getting a ring next. Um, yeah, at least. At least getting a ring. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed. I like affordable, cute jewelry, you know? So... When she started doing this, I was just like, uh, yes, please. I want some. I want some. Actually, I have three pairs of her earrings. I've got those brown tiered ones. I have those too. Okay. Ooh, goodness. Hey, Kelly. Hello, hello. I'm going to set my eyebrows. I look really weird because I don't have any face makeup on and all I have is the dark brows. That's kind of trippy, isn't it? Hey, Heather. All right, so I'm going to set this real quick lack. Like. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're just going to go ahead and dive into the eyes and I'll do the face afterwards. We're switching things up tonight. The heck? I feel like I had something in my, in my eyeball. All right. Um, eye primer. I do need that. Always prime your eyeballs. Your eyelids. Not your eyeballs. <laughs> Not your eyeballs. Right? Mine too. Well, and makeup. Now, I didn't used to have a makeup addiction back in the day. And then I discovered this makeup. And I kind of became obsessed. All right. I'm going to really quickly. <clears throat> I have some fabulous makeup, holiday hottie makeup class ladies, some VIPs that I'm going to invite really quickly. My nose is itchy, itchy, itchy. Um, let's see, one more. What? Oh, did I spell her name wrong? Maybe I did. Gosh. Hold on just a moment. I'm going to get her in. There she is. All right, so we got a few ladies up in her 
get him invited. We're going to hang out. We're going to do some makeup. It's going to be great. We're going to do this eye. I'm excited about this eye. So if y'all like what you see, then just hit that share button and share it with some ladies um, that you're friends with or share it into your groups or whatever you want to do. Um, God, I hit the wrong person like three different times. I have really sloppy fingers this evening and I don't know why. All right. Let's just, let's just move on with our lives. Yes. Yeah. Unique totally started my makeup addiction. It did. It doesn't help that I get all, most of mine for free. Check this out. Have y'all seen my tree? All right. So I made a post earlier. I, um, for the last year have been collecting product boxes. So I don't know if you know that, but in addition to making money with this business, I have the option to get my makeup for free. I can. Or I can get it at a discount. It just depends on how I decide to work my business. But let me show you. I start. I started doing the tree. Okay. So check this out. Do not pay attention to my office. We are scraping up the floors. So you're going to see some raw concrete. You're also probably going to see a little bit of um, like carpet tiles from the 80s. But this is an 80s house. This is what we bought. And this is what we're working with. So hey Gina. Hey Carmelita. All right. Check this out right here. Do you see my tree? Can you see it? Those are product boxes all over it. Isn't it cute? I haven't done all of them either. I worked on it for a little while today, um, but I haven't finished. But isn't it super cute? It's just covered in product boxes. <laughs> I just made them into ornaments. I think it's really cute. I like it. I wanted to do it last year, but I didn't save enough boxes. So I spent this whole year, every time I ordered product, um, every time I earned anything, I just kept the boxes. I threw them all into one big white unique box. I still have half a box of products over there. I just, it's kind of time consuming to create, like to turn the boxes into ornaments because <laughs> you have to like put the, you have to put the hooks in there. You know, like it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Hey Kayla, but once it's up, it's super duper cute. Well, I saw somebody a few years ago do it on a smaller scale, like a small little tree, you know? And they had, I don't know, probably like 20 or so boxes on there. And I was like, I want like a whole, what is this? What is this? I want like a whole big tree that's just all unique, like everything. So that's what I did. And this hair is, I'm sorry, guys. This is what you get. This is what you get. This is as good as you're getting. Okay. I love you anyway. Thank you for loving me, even though I'm haggard and janky. All right. So let's see here. Um... I'm going to take my, where is my, oh, my blending brush. I'm going to take my blending brush. Hey, Dorothy. Hey, Melissa. I'm going to take my blending brush. And I'm going to take a very light kind of skin tone color up front and go all over the lid with it. This is going to make it really easy for me to blend all of these really deep, dark tones that I'm going to be putting on here soon. It's going to help me. Hey, Dorothy. Happy one-year anniversary. Today is Dorothy's one-year anniversary with the company. All right. Happy one year. Hey, Shauna. How are you, gorgeous? All right, so I'm taking this neutral color, and I'm going all over the lid, all the way up to the brow, because it's going to make it easy for me to blend all this other stuff. Um, I'm going to kind of, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in, and I'm going to get darker, darker, darker as I go. Um... And I'm going to kind of mix some colors together unless I use my, hey, Debbie, how are you? Unless I use, I have a dark something or other that I can use. We'll just see what happens. I don't know. You're welcome. It's been a good year, Dorothy. It's been a good year. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen what you've done, girl. I've seen it. All right. I'm just going to get going. Okay. I'm just going to get on in there. I'm going to try to, like, create this really dark um, red-brown kind of terracotta brick blend of color that that picture was. I don't know if y'all remember seeing it or not. Um, I didn't know I was going to do it tonight, but I just said, you know what, tack with it. I've wanted to do it for days. I'm going to do it. So, even if I feel like crap, whatever, who cares? At least I don't have to leave my house to work. You know what I mean? I can feel like crap and work from home. You can do it. Just have to get your butt up out of bed. That is literally the hardest thing. That's the hardest part. I know exactly. Exactly. Exactly, Dorothy. So much better to look back and say, I don't know, I've got work to do. I'm not speaking for you. I'm kind of speaking for myself than to look back with regret that you didn't even try. You know what I mean? 
All right. Hello, Kristen. You guys, when I don't have my face done at all, I feel like I look really sick with eyeshadow on. <laughs> like, I look sickly because I don't have, like, the big bright. But I'm going to do it backwards because I think it's going to be a better option for me this time. I honestly do. So, we're just going to we're just gonna roll with it, okay? Bring in a roll with it. I feel like I need to add some orange up in here. So, we need to orange it out a little more. This is a very fluffy brush to have right up under your eyeball like that. I'm just going to say. Probably not the best option for the bottom lid. But we're going to do it anyway. And if I go really overboard down here, I can always like clean it way up with my concealer and my foundation. So I'm going to look really sick like Beetlejuice for a minute. <laughs> I swear to God, that's how I feel right now. I feel like Beetlejuice. But I'm going to fix it. I'm going to clean it up. It's going to look really, really good. Just wait. Wait, do not worry. Do not worry. Yeah, a little bit of brownish red up underneath it. Hey, Michelle. Y'all, if you are entertained by this whatsoever, or if you love the end result once it's done, feel free to hit the share button. It helps me grow my network. Um and find somebody maybe who sees this look and goes, oh my God, I love it. I want to try it myself at home. And then all of a sudden they're empowered to do something they didn't think they could do. And that's like the best thing ever. I am missing, I am missing a crease brush. I do believe there's one. I used to have two and I don't have the second one. So what the heck? I lost a crease brush. That's not good. That is not a good thing. Sorry for the nasal voice, you people. I'm so sorry. This is this is what you get right now with me because my voice is gone. I am, um, uh, you know, just nasal and disgusting right now, and that's that's just how I am. I can't help it. Okay, I can't help it. All right, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna take a smaller little something or other. Let's see. I'm gonna use this brush. Do I use this brush? Do I want to use this brush? I don't know if I do or not. I'm trying to mix two colors together and get the color I'm looking for. Is it starting to go kind of red-brown? Red-orange-brown? I think it is. Hey, April. Do I look sick? <laughs> I feel like I do. I know I do, especially right now with these eyes, but I'm going to make everything look really nice when I'm finished, I promise. <laughs> We're working backwards tonight. Working backwards. Hey, Jess. All right. We're going to do the eye. We're going to get a little bit crazy. We're going to get out of the lines a little bit, and then we're going to make everything look really nice and fright. Fright? Fright and fresh. Bright and fresh. We're gonna make it look bright and fresh. So I'm just gonna kind of keep layering this on so that I can get the look that I want and the intensity that I want. And then I'll make everything look really clean afterwards. This is a new technique I'm trying. It's called, um, you know, destroy it before you clean it up. It's kind of like when you're spring cleaning your house, you know. Everything looks really bad before it looks really good. It's just, you know, it's just the way we do things. And we're going to go bold. I always go a little bit lighter when I do these types of looks than I probably should because it doesn't look like the inspiration photo. But tonight I'm actually going to really try to make it just as dramatic and crazy as the inspo pick. You know? You know what I mean? I used to be super afraid of color on my lids. Like I kept everything very neutral. Very neutral. That was how I did my makeup for the longest time. I was terrified of too much color. And I still find myself doing that sometimes and I have to really like force it. Hey Jensen. Hey Ashley. So we're going to go in with a super dark brown, and it looks like too much, but we're going to 
hopefully make it look good. Or this is totally ruined and, you know, we don't know. We don't know till it's time to check the end result. Okay. I'm just going to layer it all on. What's everybody doing tonight? I feel delirious. I took some medicine earlier trying to not feel horrific. And I think it's just making me feel a little nutty. So, excuse me. I have OTC brain. <laughs> I've been sick for a flipping week. I'm going to add all this brown. I look like a crazy person. Good Lord. I'm not used to doing my makeup like this backwards, you know? And it really makes me look kind of sick. <laughs> I mean, I am sick, but it makes me look like, girl, you need some help. Kind of sick. But I think I can, I think I can fix it. Okay. And then we're going to add that orange back up in there. This is so dramatic. This is so dramatic. What are y'all doing? How's your night going? It's quiet out here in Facebook land. It's really quiet in my house. If you can hear anything in the background, it's just Andy Griffith because that's what Samantha's watching upstairs. <laughs> that's what she's watching on the couch upstairs is Andy Griffith. Okay. All right. All of this is very, very, very dramatic. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. I think I can fix it. I can make it work. Blend some lighter oranges up in there. Are you, do you have kids? Are they out of school this entire week? The kids have the entire week out of school. The entire week. So I've got to figure out how to entertain them the entire time. What? I know it's it, this is a very bold look, so I'm I really have to <laughs> I really gotta like you know blend out the edges and all that goodness so that it's not too insane and intense. Oh, that makes a big difference, yeah. But I do like it. Crud, I need more brown on this side. It's not enough. Okay, one side always looks really good and then one side does not. So if this is what happens to you, don't get angry. Just kind of what happens to everybody. Don't let it ruin your life. It'll be okay. But yeah, Michelle, to go back to what you said, this color, this color combination is good for green eyes, I think, because it's a really good contrast. And so it kind of makes them stand out. All right, let's clean it up, shall we? So that all this looks nice and bright and fabulous. We can. Let's do it. All right, take this. And we'll go in and we'll add highlights afterwards. So we're going to just kind of clean all of this up because it looks really rough right now. It looks really rough right now. <laughs> That's right. This side always looks better than this side, and it drives me nuts. I don't understand exactly what happens, what goes wrong. But this side always looks better than this side. I don't understand. But that's okay because we're going to clear everything up around the edges and that's going to make a big difference. Big difference. We're going to do some nice bright concealer under the eyes. Things are about to, things are about to change, people. To blend it up. I'm going to use a blending bud here in like two seconds to blend all this out. But I, right now, I'm just going to 
use my finger to create a little bit of control <laughs> with the, where all the shadow's going. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's get in there with a green shadow brush and clear out the edges right here. Okay. So this is going to give me a nice clean slate right here in the center. I can actually really control where I want that to go. This is a new way for me to do this where I kind of add all this stuff afterwards and it's weird and I feel kind of awkward, but you know, whatever. I felt really awkward doing makeup in general when I first started. So this is not a feeling that I am, uh, you know, not accustomed to. <laughs> I remember making makeup videos when I first started and I was like, oh my God, I don't have any idea what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. It's getting cleaner. It's getting cleaner already. All right. A little bit here. Clear up around the nose. Around here. I'm going to use a black liner to kind of smoke out the waterline. So I'm going to put dark in the waterline, which I don't usually do. That's going to help with this really dramatic look. Um, and then I'm going to do like a nude lip. I'm just going to do one of my matte liquid lipsticks. Those are in the kudos right now. For those of, pe those of you who are asking, everything we everything's still available except for the purple mascara. The rest of it's still available. So you can still get the... Um, black and the brown and the waterproof and all that stuff. Hey, Angela, how are you? It is the weirdest thing in the whole world, Jessica. It is very weird going backwards and putting the eye makeup on first. Um, a lot of professional makeup artists do it that way. Um, I don't typically because, I don't know, I just like to start with the face. I just do. Um, but a lot of people do it. And uh, it's weird because I literally feel like I look like a, I don't know, I feel like I look like a zombie or something before. And now this bottom has to be really kind of blown out and smokied out, <laughs> smoked out because it looks so thick, like perfectly straight that it looks like I've just done some really, I don't know, gothic looking type of thick bottom line, which is not the look I was going for. So I'll have to kind of soften that up a little bit. But, you know, it's a new way to do things. Be flexible with makeup because sometimes you'll find a technique that you thought was really strange and then all of a sudden you're like, ooh, I like that. Okay, never mind. Hey, Carmen. Hey, Heather. Hey, Katie. How are y'all doing? All right. I dropped my lid. Where is my lid? I don't have it. I'm going to have to look for it after the video is over. Ugh. Darn it. I'm always dropping stuff off this table. I need to get a bigger table. That's what I need to do. All right, so I'm going to set this highlight with the concealer really quick because I um, I just need to move on. I need to move on with my life. We're going to move on to the next phase. This eye still looks kind of janky compared to this one, but it looks way better now that I cleaned it up with some concealer because it was rough before, wasn't it? It was... It's pretty serious. Look what this concealer does. I mean, look what this setting powder does. Do you see the difference? Over here, you can still see this. You can still see kind of this. You can still see all of this. But over here, it all looks really smooth. It's like it just takes that extra texture out. Look at that. What? It's like a magic eraser. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right. We are going to... I'm not going to do liquid foundation right now. Hey, Carrie. I'm not going to do liquid foundation right now because um, they're all back there. 
but I do have powder. So I'm gonna do some powder, because that's what I'm doing tonight, apparently, is powder. So, I'm gonna add some velour powder. I look very pale right now, but we're gonna add in some bronzer and all that, make myself look really nice and warm. And then all these colors won't look so harsh on me. Okay, time for bronzer. Oh man, I'm already exhausted. That's what, th this is the part about being sick that absolutely stinks, is that you lose your energy so fast. Just standing here with you guys. I know you can tell my energy level's way down, because normally I'm like, hey, hey, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> I'm doing all I can. I'm doing all I can. Bronzer. Bronza. Hey, Jordan. How are you? Okay. All right. It really does help, though. Look at the difference. This is a very sloppy contour, so don't take this as, like, you know, super profesh, because it's not. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit on the on the schnoz. And then we're gonna move forward with our lives. What, Michelle? I feel you. I feel you on that, hundred percent. I feel you on the. Isn't it great, Shauna? Everybody loves this bronzer. It's so good because it's not orange. You know, it's not orange. It's my favorite. It's all, mine's almost out. I need a new one. I just have to get one for myself. I'm probably just going to get the whole new um, collection. I have a collection called Set to Stun. And it has foundation, bronzer, primer, a luminizer stick, which is one of our, or pout, or press luminizer, whichever one you want. Um... What else comes in it? A few things for the face, and it's all on sale, and I'm just going to get one for myself because my particular color, I have a lot of foundations back here, but only one of them is my color, <laughs> and uh, I'm almost out, and my primer is getting low. Um, actually, no, that's not true. I have like half a tube left, which means I have like eight months out of it, but I still could use the other products. I'm just going to get it, I think, probably, because it just makes sense. Just hook yourself up, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to um, kind of soften this bottom line because right now it looks very like, you know, I kind of like sliced into it with my concealer, which is fine, but I didn't want it to look like that. So I'm going to soften it just a bit with some of this gingerly, which is like a gingerbread cookie. Hey, Christina. Hey, Mel. How are you guys? See how I softened it? It's nicer. This is nicer than this, I think, because it's softer on the edges. Do you hear the whistling? Samantha's watching Andy Griffith. <laughs> it does. It all comes together. That's what happens. It looks so out of control and crazy when you first get started and you're looking at yourself going, oh, God, no. I can't do that. Mm -mm. No, girl. Turn back. Turn back. You're going down the wrong road. You're like, hit the brakes and hit, you know, pop a U turn and get the heck out of here. But it really does all come together. It really does. All right. I need some tissue for my nose. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. I've got blusher. Oh, you guys. I didn't even show you this. Okay. So, I don't know if you pay attention to the stuff that's in the background of my videos or not. I mean, I'm one of those people that pays attention to the background, so maybe you do, maybe you don't. This, this right here, this tower, was just a cheap black tower, like, you, in sections like this, that you could get at Walmart. And I bought this spray paint, and I spray painted it this green.